Hello and welcome my dear students. Today we are going to learn standard 3rd subject English. Lesson number 12. Dr. Doolittle learns animal language. So let's start. Now listen doctor, said Polynesia. And I will tell you something. Did you know that animals can talk? I knew that parrots can talk said the doctor. Oh, we parrots can talk in two languages, people's language and bird language, said Polynesia proudly. If I say, Polly wants a biscuit, you understand me. But hear this, Kaka, Oi, Fifi. Now, here children, the author describes a situation where the conversation between a doctor and a parrot is shown. The parrot was named as Polynesia. Polynesia said to the doctor that, Do you know that animals can talk? And the doctor said that, I knew that the parrots can talk. Then the parrot says that parrots can speak in two languages, that is, the bird's language and the people's language. Then the parrots explain that, if I want a biscuit, can you understand me? By hearing this, kaka, oya, fifi. Good gracious, cried the doctor. What does that mean? That means, is the porridge hot yet in bird language? Porridge means a dish consisting of oatmeal or cereal boiled in water or milk. My, you don't say so, said the doctor. You never talked that way to me before. What would have been the good, said Polynesia, dusting some biscuit crumbs off her left wing. Dusting means removing dirt or dust from something. You wouldn't have understood me if I had. Now here children, in this paragraph, the doctor was too surprised and asked the parrot the meaning. The parrot then replies that this means, is the porridge hot yet in bird's language? Then the doctor said to the parrot that you have never talked to me like this. And the parrot replies that if I would have talked to you like this, then it would have been difficult to you to understand. Tell me some more, said the doctor, all excited. And he rushed over to the dresser drawer and came back with a notebook and a pencil. Dresser, a cupboard with shelves, drawers, etc. Now don't go too fast and I will write it down. This is very interesting, very interesting. Something quite new. Give me the birds A, B first. Slowly now. Birds A, B, C means the alphabet of birds language. Simple, basic information about birds language. So, that was the way the doctor came to know that animals had a language of their own and could talk to one another. And all that afternoon, while it was raining, Polynesia sat on the kitchen table giving him bird words to put down in the notebook. Now, in this paragraph, children, we have seen that the doctor was too excited and he rushed over to the dresser drawer and came back with a notebook and a pencil. Then he told to the parrot to give me some more words. But don't go too fast as he wanted to write down all the words which the parrot will give because it would be very interesting. And he wanted the bird's words, that is the bird's ABC first. So, the doctor came to know animals' language and that whole afternoon, when it was raining, Polynesia sat on the kitchen table and gave the birds words 
to the doctor to note down. At tea time, when the dog Jip came in, the parrot said to the doctor, See, he is talking to you. Looks to me as though he was scratching his ear, said the doctor. But animals don't always speak with their mouths, said the parrot in a high voice, raising her eyebrows. They talk with their ears, with their feet, with their tails, with everything. Sometimes they don't want to make a noise. Do you see now the way he is twitching up one side of his nose? Twitching up means a slight jerk. What does that mean? asked the doctor. Now here children, at the tea time, when the dog Jim came in, the parrot said to the doctor that Jim was talking to him. But the doctor said that it was scratching his ears. But the parrot explains that animals do not always speak with their mouths. They talk with their ears, feet and tails and with everything. Then the parrot replies that sometimes they do not want to make noise. See, he is twitching up his nose. Then the doctor says that what does it mean? That means, can't you see that it has stopped raining? Polynesia answered. He is asking you a question. Dogs nearly always use their noses for asking questions. After a while, with the parrot's help, the doctor got to learn the language of the animals so well that he could talk to them himself and understand everything they said. Then he gave up being a people's doctor altogether. From the story of Dr. Doolittle by Hug Lofting. So children, when the doctor asked Polynesia what does it mean, she replied that it means that it has stopped raining. The dog is asking you a question. Nearly the dog asks question with the help of their noses. Lastly, with the help of the parrot, the doctor got to learn animal's language. Then the doctor started understanding everything what the animal said. And lastly, the doctor gave up being people's doctor altogether. So this was a story from the story of Dr. Doolittle by Hug Lofting. Hope students, you have understood the lesson. Read the lesson from the textbook. Thanks for watching.